Hi there internet, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Aspire 5 laptop. The exact model for this one is an Acer Aspire 5 A5014-54-35 6A. That information can be found on the bottom of the laptop on the bottom sticker which is right over here. It's pretty long number. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can clean the inside, repaste and even or maybe if you want to replace the uh, fan or heat sink. You should do your own cleaning and repacing every few years or every year depending how much you use your laptop. If you're using a lot and it is a dusty place, you won't want to do it every eight to nine months. I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using. And tool number one is an iFixit screwdriver set. And we're going to be using a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. Next, you want an alcohol, isopropolic or isopropolic, 99% or 95% at least. You need a workshop towel, one sheet of the workshop towel, and you need your thermal paste. I recommend an Arctic MX4 thermal paste. These are really good, but if you want to go over the board, overkill, you can go with the Thermal Grizzly Choir Nut, which are really good too, but I find the Arctic MX4 really good. All right, with this all in hand, we're going to get it started. Also, you need an old toothbrush to clean the fan in case yours is dirty. All right, down here, we're going to see a whole bunch of screws. We're going to remove all the screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Go ahead and remove all of them and keep them in one pile. Also, if you guys find my videos useful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we remove all the screws, we're gonna grab the opening tool and we're gonna start from the front end front corner we're going to stick it the opening tool in there and we're going to twist it around and we should hear a click sounds right in there you want to do this all around in the front you want to hear those click sounds work yourself on the side all the way to the back corner left and right side good you don't need to do the back end but if you want you can go ahead and do the back side but as long as you do the front corners and then you can just lift up the front side and it will release the back end. You can open it up and if yours is dirty, it's a pretty new laptop. So if yours is dirty, just clean yours. And down here, we're going to see the fan, the heat sink, and the battery. First, we're going to go ahead and disconnect the battery by removing this Kapton tape. I mean, you might have a Kapton, but this is a gaffer's tape. So go ahead and remove this gaffer's tape away. You're going to put your fingers on the side of the power connector right there and you want to pull it back evenly once you remove it push it to one side now it's safe to work on the laptop I'm just gonna remove this tape now we need to remove this tape over this fan connector I'm gonna show you the proper way of removing this jack not by pulling the cable you're gonna remove the two screws for the fan the fan we're gonna put it to one side we're going to remove the three screws for the heat sink. Once removed, you don't want to lift it up from here. You want to lift it up close to the heat sink. You might want to grab it from the corner neck and just work it around. And it will break the old thermal paste, the seal. There we go. And there we have it. You can see this is pretty new laptop, so that the heat sink, it's, the thermal paste is still like a nice. But we're still going to clean it. And if you pay attention, the second die doesn't have any thermal paste or anything like that. Even the cut in here is not over the second die. The reason is the second die is for a called PCH chip. The PCH chip is just for the fire transfer, everything else for data transfer. A uh, few years ago, they used to have a different PS chip on a different part of the motherboard. Now for saving money, they put it on the same chip so they mix it with a cpu they put it right beside it it makes it a little faster for response time and stuff like that but you don't need to put thermal paste on that die so we're going to apply thermal alcohol on the 
tau and we're gonna wipe over to a few pass over the CPU and just clean up nicely. We're gonna just fold it inside out. I'm gonna swipe over and clean up the heatsink. Once these two are, are clean, to remove the fan, I don't like pulling these cables. These are really tiny cables. I uh, can damage them. Grab your tweezers, curved tweezers. Put it beside the jack. I'm going to do it so you guys can see like this. I'm going to right there. And you can pull it back easy. The same way that we did with the battery. So you want to pull the ear loops on this side backward. And you can take the fan outside, blow some air, use a toothbrush and clean it up nicely. Once you clean it up, bring it in, put the connector in there and plug it in. Now we're going to put it one tiny line on the CPU die, just like that. And we're going to grab the heat sink. We're going to set it down evenly. Once you put it down, you don't lift it up again. Never do that. If you lift it up, you have to repaste. You want to follow the number one, two, three, three. The screws, put the screws on. Once you put the screws on, put the fan right over and put the two screws for the fan. You can put the tape for a gaffer tape for the fan cable, but it's not necessary. You want to grab the connector for the battery, make sure evenly goes inside the jack and pinch it together right in there you can go ahead and put a new gaffer's tape or don't i'm just gonna cut this one put it right there you don't need to it's not gonna do anything once you have that one in there ready all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover bring it over push down the corners the sides all the way to the back make sure you hit those clicks out and the last thing would be to just grab the bottom screws and screw it down and that should cover this video. I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment or try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. I'm just going to finish up putting up the bottom screws. I'm going to power on the laptop for those people that keep saying I guess no it's not gonna turn on i did something wrong so at the end of the video i'm gonna power it on so let's go ahead and power it on so you guys can see that it does turn on without any issue so power it on and there we have acer and it should log in pretty quickly inside my desktop with no problem and that's it for today's video.